are orphaned resources lurking in your Azure environment, driving up costs. In this video, I'll show you how to identify and remove them efficiently using Azure Workbooks. Let's clean up and optimize your cloud savings. This workbook can help you with saving money, prevent misconfiguration and simplifying operations. Orphaned resources are what which you create for use and with time if they are no longer required keeps on lingering around. This causes cluttered environment and paying for resources which is not utilized. This video is going to be very helpful for Azure administrators and cloud FinOps specialists. So the workbook I am going to show you is also the one which I used to find out resources as when working in a large infrastructure it can be difficult to find out unused resources. This is not created by me and will share the link with you on the description. Alright so if you follow the link on the description you will land to this page and you can see the description section to know more about this workbook what it does and basically it will help you to find out all the resources which you can see here and which are not in use. We can find out app service plan availability set and the disk of the VM, the SQL elastic pool, different public IP addresses and then SG and route tables and so on. So this workbook covers a lot of resources in our Azure environment. Also if you see the dollar sign in here it basically means particular resource cost you money so you can take actions on it at priority. Also within the workbook you can see the option of deletion also if you enable it from here. Now let's save this on our Azure environment for that we'll go to this JSON code file. So when we'll click on this link we'll get a JSON file in it and we'll just copy it and we'll use it later on we'll head over to the azure portal we'll search azure monitor and if we expand this we can just search workbook we'll click on new workbooks basically allows you to create your own dashboard or the pre-configured which are created by microsoft and it will help you to have the graphical representation or a dashboard now in here we need to go to this advanced editor we'll remove the existing one and then save it and now we'll click on apply and that's all now it will start scanning your resources and will check your all subscriptions which are not being used or are orphaned now by checking this workbook we'll click on done editing and if you go back and then click on save we can use the title as your orphan resources it's up to you and we'll give it a resource group and subscription where this particular workbook will live Now if you go back we can just go to the workbooks or we can just search orphan and we'll be able to find out our workbook like this. Also we can just go to monitor and then workbooks. We'll have our workbook here. Let's go through this workbook and what are the options it provides. Starting from the filters we have the various options from where we can see from where we want our resources to be checked or scanned. So right now I have selected all and the resource group also so that all the resources in my entire Azure infrastructure can be seen in one place. Also we have an option of enable deletion here. So whenever we just click on resource we find out below we can just delete from here but we have to first enable it. I'll click on enable and scroll below. Also you can see wherever there is a dollar sign means that is costing you at the overview side you will see all the resources and how many are there like in my case I have created all those resources to test out this workbook and you can see I have my app service plan which basically does not have any app then we have an availability set one and then there are two disks also which are not in use public IP unique the application gateway traffic manager profile the IP group the private DNS zone all of those are created randomly by me for testing out this scenario and it's able to find out those resources successfully next instead of overview if you want to see what app service plan is not in use we can just go to compute in compute we can see our particular app service plan in here now if we have figured out any resource which is not utilized we can reach out to the owner of that resource and ask them if they are using it or not and if not we can just remove them from here so if we select on delete selected resources we can directly remove it from here only also if you want to see the further details you can go to the app service plan right from here which will take me to this plan i can check the rest of the details and can delete it from here also Similarly, if we go to various other sections like availability sets, I can see the availability set which is not in use. Also, I can go to storage. In storage, I have the disk uh, which are just lying around here. And then there is database section, then networking. In networking, we have multiple sites as well. Only the few of them cost us money like the public IP, the load balancer, 
network interface nsg and the route tables not have any charge associated with it so we can just go one by one and remove it from here like if i want to remove my public ip i'll select and i'll click on delete selected resources and then delete resource right and go to the last option others we have the section of resource groups the api connection and the certificates all right so this is how we can leverage the workbook to find out which resources are not being utilized and save our azure infrastructure costs thank you